Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Do you want to learn steel structure for domestic building? For house construction? If yes, so this is a special video and watch this video from start to end because I think this is the first video on YouTube in which you can learn the full steel structure design for domestic building for three story because steel structure design is very important and many civil engineering students are working on construction site to learn steel structure but today i will guide you and i will share my personal knowledge about steel structure because in last month i did a project for one of my client which was three story building its construction is in progress and i will also share its videos and this channel so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like this video i know this is a very important video for civil engineering student guys the topic is steel structure design for three-story domestic building not for commercial building for domestic building for commercial building you will see the other steel structure design maybe in next video okay so guys this is from my personal experience so what i will show you in steel structure in this video the first thing that is the first that is about footing rcc footing okay second its column design third plant beam Fourth, lentil beam. And fifth, that is top beam. Or you can say slab beam. And the last one is slab, RCC slab. Okay. So the first thing is footing how i did at steel structure what was the size of footing and at steel structure design also its depth depth of the footing so guys the size of the footing was for domestic three story building for my client i will show uh, its videos also okay on this channel the size of the footing was guys 4 by 4 feet 4 by 4 feet this is the footing size right and the depth of the footing was depth that was guys 3 feet depth of the footing was 3 feet and at size 4 by 4 feet now guys come to its steel structure design its steel structure okay this is for its uh, I can say uh, size and depth size and depth of footing now guys it's steel structure design steel structure for footing okay so guys it was like this as you can see so here this is concrete cover and these are steel bars so in footing i used 12 millimeter die of steel bar 12 mm with the spacing of 150 millimeter okay also for main bars and distribution bars the dia was same for main bars and also for distribution bar which was 12 millimeter with the spacing of 150 mm and the box depth was 300 mm or 12 inches it was the depth of uh, steel box right so guys this is the steel structure and here guys concrete cover you can see this is concrete cover bottom and top bar bottom 
and top concrete cover was 75 mm and sides cover was side concrete cover was 40 mm okay and guys you can see like this okay this is the column at the center and here guys you can see these are main bars and also distribution bars same like this it was the design of footing size 4 by 4 feet depth 3 feet bottom and tops uh, concrete cover was 75 mm and side cover was 40 mm and i used 12 millimeter die of steel bar with the spacing of 150 for main and also for distribution bars the video will be little long but watch the video from start to end because this is a special video full steel structure designed for domestic three-story building right now guys for column design how was the column design you can see guys this is the column design okay so first the column size size of the column was what 9 by 9 inches 9 by 9 inches okay and its steel structure i will also show you here guys we used here six numbers of steel bars six numbers of steel bars in rcc column for three story domestic and dia of the steel was for all longitudinal bar that was guys 16 mm it was 16 mm right and also guys you can see this is its lateral ties uh, lateral ties you can see the hooks were uh, the hooks length was 90 where d is die of steel bar okay and dia of the level tie was 8 mm 8 mm diameter of the steel was for lateral tie that was 8 mm and longitudinal bar 16 mm with the spacing of guys 7 inches 7 inches how like this you can see here you can see dug legs dug leg okay so it becomes same like this on the footing same like this right because we have six numbers and we can get this length with 16d where d is die of steel bar now guys you can see its lateral tie like this again with minimum spacing remember guys i did also i will share its video okay so the lateral tie spacing the lateral die uh, the lateral tie spacing between two lateral tie okay that was seven inches at the lapping zone you can see this is lapping zone lapping zone and also here with seven inches as i told you here but at the mid it was about nine inches the spacing for lateral ties remember and the hooks the hooks should be alternate not at at one direction it should be change in different places so it's depend on you okay so uh, at the uh, here uh, at the lapping zone its uh, direction should be change the hooks okay and also at the top it should be changed at the mid it should be also changed but it should be not in the same direction and remember guys wait here we did this angle angle of hooks with 135 degree this is also very compulsory okay so guys this is the design of column steel structure design of column now guys come to its plant beam how we did the design for plant beam guys so first i will erase this okay if you don't mind 
So guys, you can see here, Plant beam. Steel structure, SS. Okay, shortcut. So guys, the size of the plant beam was, its width was nine inches. Okay, and its depth, 12 inches. For three story domestic building. And we used here, guys, four numbers at the bottom and two numbers at the top. The bottom bar dia was 16 mm. And the top bar dia was 12 mm. Now, guys, its concrete cover should be 40 mm. Concrete cover. Okay. Now remember guys. From 25 to 40 mm. Okay. It should be. Now it's lateral. Uh, it's. Uh, you can see guys. This is it's stirrup. So the stirrup dia was. This stirrup dia. It was also 8 mm. Same for column rcc column we did with the spacing of again seven inches with the spacing of seven inches also remember guys as you can see it was also this is the long section you can see near it support support is column you can see here okay near with column so the spacing should be minimum but at the mid, it should be maximum. Again, at the end of the support, it should be minimum. Okay. So here, guys, you can keep about 12 inches. But I did here 10 inches. But near its support, it was 6 inches. Near its support. This is the design of plinth beam for this project, which I did. And its construction is in progress. This is the design of plinth beam. Guys, this is the safe steel structure design for domestic building, not for commercial building. Now, guys, again, you can see this should be uh, with 135 degree again, and you can get with 90. Okay, you can also get 12D. Okay, but I did with 90, therefore. So, guys, this is the design of plant beam. Now, guys, come to its... Lantern beam. Lentil beam steel structure. I did the size of lentil beam. It was 6 by 6 inches. Okay. And guys, we used just 4 numbers of steel bars. Uh, sorry. 9 by 6 inches. Okay. And we use four numbers of steel bars and top and also bottom bar dia was that was 12 millimeter with the spacing of nine inches for all okay this is the lentil beam design and lateral dia was uh, sorry uh, it's a uh, stirrup dia it was also stirrup dia okay stirrup it was also 8 mm. Okay. I did 8 mm because uh, for all I use 8 mm. But it should not be minimum 6 mm. Minimum is 6 mm. Uh, 6 mm. Right. Now guys again. Okay. Also the hooks should be same like that as I told you. And previous uh, steel structure design for column and also plant beam. This is the steel structure design of plant beam. Uh, sorry, lentil beam. Now, guys, we have the design of top beam. Okay. So, guys, remember, I did the design of top beam. Top beam steel structure. Okay. 
Here, the size of the top beam was 12 inches by 9 inches. And we used six numbers of steel bars, four at the bottom and two at the top, right? And guys, here at the bottom, we used 16 mm dia. And at the top, we used 12 mm, right? And guys, here I will show you its long section. Guys, at long section, we have here crank bar, these two steel bars, this one and also this one. This is bent up bar, which we bent near at support at the top. Okay, same like this, guys, you can see here, like this. It was this, right? So guys, it should be with, this angle should be 45 to 60 degree. And the bar should be bent with the length of L by 4. And I did with L by 4. L means full length of beam. So full length divided by 4, then we can get this length. So this length should be crank bar or bent up bar. Remember this point and I did this design for three-story building. Guys, concrete cover was concrete cover. As you can see, this is concrete cover. Okay, so it should be about 25 to 40 mm. This is concrete cover. Right? And also guys, come to its lateral tie. Same, hooks should be 90 angle should be 135 degree and i did okay and the lead uh, the uh, stirrup dia it was 8 mm with the spacing of spacing of 7 inches near at support with crank bar okay to the crank bar it was 7 inches okay but at the mid it was going to the 10 to 12 inches but I did with 10 inch spacing. Also, remember this point for top beam. Now guys, come to its slab steel structure design. Now guys, you will have a question in your mind that from where you did this design, this is, uh, I did more projects. Okay, so this is from my personal experience and also from my research, okay. In next video or uh, maybe after some videos, I will show you from where I got this knowledge, which I'm sharing the front of you. Okay. So guys come to slab. The last one is slab, RCC slab design. So guys, you can see this is slab. Okay. Thickness of the slab was six inches. I decide six inches and here guys you can see the bars main bars and distribution bars okay and the dia of main bar and distribution bar same main bar and distribution bar dia was same which was 12 millimeter which was 12 millimeter and concrete cover guys it should be 40 mm okay but it should be 40 mm in the case of in the case of when uh, the thickness of the slab is more than six inches but here i did with 25 mm one inch top and bottom right concrete cover and also guys we provide here crank bar also here is crank bar okay that is this same like this crank bar we also did sorry okay and the formula is l by 4 also l by 4 this is the steel structure design for 
RCC slab. Main bar distribution bar dia was 12 millimeter and also we provide crank bar. And the crank bar was the first steel bar, main bars, then distribution bar, sorry, with the spacing of, okay, so if I'm not discussing these things, so many students, they come in, sir, what is the spacing? The spacing was 150 millimeter or six inches. It was the spacing for main bars and also for distribution bars. But the crank bar is important and top beam near its support. It should be bent or crank near its support. And the dia of crank bar was also same 12 millimeter. Okay. And also, I didn't discuss in the topic, but also there were hidden beam. When the span is maximum, we provide hidden beam. So we did the hidden beam, just four numbers of steel bars, hidden beam. And the hidden beam width was 12 inches. Okay. And dia, it was also 12 millimeter. Okay. Here also, uh, it's uh, stirrup. Okay. The stirrup spacing was with nine inches center to center okay guys so this is the full steel structure design for three-story domestic building which i have discussed the front of you and i hope you learned something new and this is the first video as i told you how to do the full steel, full steel structure design for three-story or two-story you can also decide this one because uh, it will save it will be safe okay so if you have any question about this video so you can comment so i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video